good YouTube. It's Rage Rail. So today's video I want to show you guys is Gun Debo Package Mini Scheme in Madden 23. So if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So the playbook I'm in is the 49ers offensive playbook. Again, I'm in the 49ers offensive playbook. Now, a couple things before I get this video started. For one, I am on current gen. So if you're on next gen, just try out these concepts, uh, see how they play out. And just let me know in the comments some things work for next gen and some things don't work for next gen uh basically like i'm on current gen so some things can translate to next gen some don't so just let me know if you could for your current gen guys or next gen excuse me but also uh cfl so if you want to join my money cfl please make sure you visit my website which is in the description it's going to be all things madden.com go ahead and visit there and then what you're going to do is actually go to the money cfl section and please only people who are on current gen ps4 so when you join, uh, when you pay for your spot, you're gonna get a Discord link. Make sure you join the Discord, and that's where we will be at. So, as soon as we fill up, we will get started. So, if you want to be in the CFL, if you want to play me or anything like that, make sure you join the Money CFL because there is a free CFL. Don't join that one. Join the Money CFL because that's the one we're gonna be doing. Hopefully, we'll do free CFL soon, but want to do the money one first because I feel like you guys will be more interested in that. And also, last thing, if you want any ebook or if you want any requested formation, so if you like, maybe if you like the Debo package or if you like split close, well, I do have a split close one on there, but if you like tight Y all, you know, watch your tweak. If you like any formation, you want me to do an ebook on it, make sure you go on my website, go to the uh, personal ebook section. And you can request your own ebook and i will have that for you within 24 to 48 hours so make sure you do do that now without with all that out the way let's go ahead and get started so debo package the reason i like this uh with the bucks is because we have um hot these i can we have a uh, hot route master i couldn't think of the name for a second so the way i would use this uh so this is good on mutt too but if you want to use this on regs i like to use the bucks and i like to actually put um I like to put Julio Jones right here in this spot. And the cool thing about the Debo package, in case you guys don't know, you can actually sub in any receiver you want to, or you can sub in any halfback or tight end. So, uh, but really, you'd want a receiver here. But I like the I like Julio because he is big, he's fast, and that's all we need right there. Um, now I like to put Mike Evans and uh, Chris Godwin out here, and that's how I like to do that. Now, as far as audible goes, I like to actually. Um, I like to take out mesh spot and I like to put in this Y off power O and I like to uh, keep Y zone. And now for L1, I don't like the, um, excuse me, for L1, I like to put read option and you really want to give this ball every single time on the read option. And for uh, your pass play, it, you just want to come out in either, um, you can come out in Y zone or it don't matter. Um, normally I like to come out wide receiver wheel. So if you want to, you can sub out R1 and you can put in mesh spot. And you come you can come out and wide receiver wheel or you can put um sometimes i will just go ahead and put y off power read sometimes and i would give the ball every single time i would never keep it uh it's just it's completely up to you um but i'm just gonna i'm gonna leave uh i'm gonna leave that in here and i'm personally gonna come out and wide receiver wheel because we're gonna set up everything out of one play because basically we have hot route master so we can set up anything that we want to now i'm gonna keep these d-line in here but what i'm gonna do is actually just put in uh some better safety so we're gonna put in him and who's a better safety here? We're going to put in uh, Vern Scott. And what we're going to do is go against, we're going to talk about pretty much every single zone coverage in the game. So we're going to talk about uh, cover three, cover four drop. We're going to talk about uh, man coverage. We're going to talk about cover two. And then I'm also going to take you guys to show you some match coverage and show you how I like to deal with match coverage with this uh, particular setup. So I'm going to keep those guys in there. I'm just going to pray we have enough time. And um, we'll actually sub in a safety here. And then we'll keep everybody else. Everybody else should be good. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys against cover four quarters. I'm going to show you guys against cover four palms. And I'm going to show you guys against uh, cover six. So, first and foremost, we're going to look at dollar and then we're going to go to cover three. Now, first, I'm going to back the ball off. But while I'm doing that, um, it doesn't matter what hash mark you run this on. And the only thing I don't like about this formation is that we can't motion any receiver. So, this is why I love to use Hot Route Master since we can't motion. Now, uh... Quickly, I just want to talk about the run plays first, and then we're going to dive right into my favorite concepts versus zone coverage and then man coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you two setups. One's going to be for every single zone coverage in the game, and the next setup is going to be for man coverage and match coverage. So why off power out? I just want to show you this run now. What I like to do is actually double team the uh, D tackle, and then um, basically he's going to go and snap the ball, but I like to double team him. And then what we're going to do is be able to, uh, you know, find yards, pick up yards. Now, I like to double team him because if they have a... a a really good 
athletic uh, defensive lineman, it makes it to where they actually can't get a, a instant shed on the run. So I pretty much always like to double team that guy right there. So then I like to ID whoever the user is. And this is a different play. And we're going to cut the ball back and just take a look at how those gaps open. And this is good because your opponent's going to have to come out in a heavier defense. So. Uh, sometimes they'll pinch the line, you know, it, it, it just depends, you know, but just want to show you that And now that play I ran was wide zone now this one's gonna be the read option Now I'm gonna get off the defensive end so we can have somebody to read and let's just go and see now when they pinch the line Um, you just want to kind of just read it now normally I wouldn't suggest you do a read option with Tom Brady But uh, it just depends you just want to read it sometimes you can get some sneaky yards like that But make sure you get down <laughs> don't try to you know do nothing crazy with Brady now uh, last one I'll show you is this wide off power read now, this one is uh, a little harder to read, but I almost like to give it every single time, no matter what, because there's no situation where I want Brady to actually keep it. But you can tell right there why I kind of don't like that play, because it's not as good. Um, it only works versus certain defensive sets, which I don't know because I don't use this offense enough, but uh, the way it is, it only works versus certain um, defenses. So just be careful of that. Uh, now, notice when they give it, uh, sometimes you can keep it, but like I said, I don't, I don't personally like the play. I don't run it. If you want me to be honest, I suggest you only use Y off power O, wide zone, and read option. That's my suggestion. Now, moving forward, uh, what you guys really care about is how I like to actually dissect coverages. Now, I can make a whole ebook about this formation, and if you want me to, just let me know. Because with Howard Master, we can create so many great concepts uh, that would just take way too long to show you guys all those concepts we can create. So I just want to show you the ones that are my favorite. So what I like to do is take circle, put them on a street, take square. You want to put him on a crosser route. And then from here, I like to take X, and normally I like to put him on a post. And then I'll take triangle and actually put him on a flat route. So essentially all we're doing is making a double-sided read. And a lot of times I do like to take X as smart route as route. Uh, so notice how now it's ran a little bit deeper. And from this point, uh, I'm going to try to buy a little time, and then hopefully I can. And I just want to show you why I like this uh, right there. We're going to probably have square. Yeah, we're going to have him. But I'm going to show you why I like this setup. Um, now, there's a ton of, ton of setups you can do out of this. Because keep in mind, we have Hot Route Master. So we can just make anybody do any route we want. Now, uh, the reason I like this is because we have two quick flat reads, right? So if there's zone dropping a lot, then we can actually have these flat routes right out the gate. So we can do a look here, or we can look here. Now, if they aren't zone dropping, then this post is actually going to do a pretty good job of getting into this gap right here. Because the purples won't be able to play it as good because they're going to get pulled down by the flat route, right? So that's why we'll have this little dot right here on the sideline. And of course, as you guys know, this streak and uh, crosser concept is going to work pretty much every single time if they are not zone dropping. So it's going to make them have to choose. So basically the user, you're reading the user. If the user follows here, we're going to look here. If the user follows our crosser, we're going to look at our post uh, concept. So really, really great right there. So cover two, I'll show you how that looks versus uh, cover two. And keep in mind, like I said, man, we can run so many different concepts. So again, that one is square on a crosser, circle on the streak. X on the post, triangle on a flat route, and then you want a smart route, X's route. Now, hopefully I have enough time. I'm going to try to buy some time just because uh, we're on all Madden practice mode. And I was trying to climb the pocket to get X a little bit of time, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the replay so we can kind of see. But, uh, yeah, that's why I spot my lineman in case you guys are curious because the practice mode sheds are just absolutely crazy. But, anyways, uh, with this setup right here, excuse me, what's going to happen is that this cloud is going to drop down. And obviously, this is going to be your main read. Now, if the user takes if the user takes this route right here, then what we're going to look for is this this read right here between these two guys right here. And normally, this post route will climb over the top of that cloud. And I do want to show you that real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to cover two, but I'm going to spy these two guys, and I'm only spying them just so I can show you that that post route does in fact climb over those. So we're going to set up the same exact setup that I just showed you. Here we go right here. And like I said, I only want to do it just to show you that, yes, in fact, X does climb over if you have enough time. So watch what happens. Uh, oop, my bad. Um, normally he does, but I think I just, uh, I'm not sure what happened there. But normally it does climb over, but it's just something to read. Or worst case scenario, you always can dump the, down, dump the ball down in the flats, which most of the time, that will be the correct read. And also, we can flip this play um, if you want to and run it to the other side, but... I'll talk about that another time. But anyways, uh, you also could could have thrown this ball right now if you wanted to um, in the side of this little gap right here. But if the cornerback backs up, then you can dump this down in the flats right here if you wanted to. So notice how we have just basically that little two-way read right there. And I want to run it again because I want to show you completion because I hate in and plays on things that are not a completion. So I'm going to run it one, one more time versus cover two. So again, square on the crosser, X on the streak, X on the post. Excuse me, square on the crosser, circle on the streak. 
X on the post. And you want to smart route. I don't remember if I smart routed it or not. That might have been why it didn't get open like I thought. Um, we'll see right here though. So anyway, we got cover two. We got our route set up. Now, let me just go ahead and show you this right here. So, like I said, X, you can throw it in that gap, but you should be able to wait, too. Um, okay, they're doing a really good job of bracketing that, but it's that gap right there that, that you can throw. Um, and normally, that will be the way you choose because you're going to make the user choose between two routes. And normally, they're going to take that crosser. Normally, they're going to take square just about every single time, uh, literally. But uh, this right here, you can throw this in this gap. That vertical hook won't be able to play that. And you could throw this ball right here. So, I may just show you that real quick. Um, because like I said, I hate moving on when I don't have a completion, you know Sometimes practice mode plays a tiny bit different than they do in game and that's a little bit aggravating That's why normally I do do gameplay videos because sometimes it is a tad bit different um, A different of a you know read or throw that you're gonna make so what I was gonna show you was they aren't giving it to me Anyway, uh, you guys get the picture though. Um, you get you get the picture of what I'm trying to say and there's other setups that I do like but uh, preferably there are other ways to beat cover too, but We'll talk about that here in a second. Actually, you know what? Nah, I, I'll give you guys one. So the best way to beat cover two, um, actually no, actually no, no, you can't in this. Actually, we're gonna talk about something else because uh, I, I'd rather say that for an ebook because there, there is. That's why I like doing ebooks because it allows me to get dig deeper into things so you can fully understand it. But just keep in mind, I like that versus zone coverage. All right, so. Moving forward, I want to talk about man coverage because realistically, this is what you'll see when you come out in this package because most people are going to play man coverage against you. So my favorite uh, setup versus man or match coverage is take a square, put him on a crosser, take a circle, put him on a crosser, take X, put him on a streak. Now, right here, uh, either I like to A, do a double flat concept or B, I like to actually do a double uh, Texas route concept. Now, I know this looks crazy, but... This will absolutely destroy pretty much every single style of man coverage. Now, this is good because we have a wide receiver at the running back, and Texas routes already beat uh, man coverage. So we have two ways to beat man coverage right here, and we have two ways to beat man coverage um, in a deeper aspect. So it's just going to make it really, really tough on the user. So notice how triangle is going to get open, and then also we can't have square. Now, practice mode, we're going to make this route concepts look a little crazy, but uh, I love this more versus match coverage. Um, and I'll show you what I like to do versus man actually here uh, in a second. So anyways, uh, this is my favorite match coverage beater, but it does work versus man. So essentially, you're going to just read between these two uh, Texas routes. But uh, what you're putting crosser routes for is that they start putting purples. Because they put purples, we're going to see how deep their purples are. And we're going to be able to throw it, uh, you know, pretty much make a sideline throw to either one of these guys. So uh, I'm going to kind of show you what I mean here in a second. Then I'm going to give you my other favorite uh, man cover setup because I have two that I really love. Now, for this one, like I said, circle on a cross or square on a cross or X on a street. And then a double uh, Texas concept. Um, hold on. There we go. Now, what I was going to tell you, let's say uh, R1. Let's say we want an R1, right? So what you'll do is drift that way and then we'll throw the ball that way. And it's the same read to the right side, basically. That's why I like it because the user will not be able to play both of those, if that makes sense. Now, another concept that I love versus man coverage is this one right here where we're going to take square we're going to put him on a post we're going to take circle put him on a slant we're going to take x put him on a streak and then we're going to take triangle and actually put him on a uh, zig route not zig excuse me texas route like this now this one's good if they start trying to drop purples and we're going to basically make a read between circle square and then triangle that's going to be our read progression uh so notice circle notice triangle and sometimes you can have square uh if they don't you know run into each other like that which normally only happens in practice mode but last thing i want to talk about i want to show you versus match coverage and then that's going to be the video so let's just quickly run through this and like i said man i truly appreciate you guys um so let's go to code four quarters and we're going to go back to debo package and we're just going to go to uh, wide receiver will now this is one of my favorite setups i may not have time because i didn't put any d line in there but this one right here you actually can have x for a one play touchdown um depending on uh what they're doing with their match coverage now I just kind of want you to watch uh, who all gets open here now. I may not have enough time. I'm going to try my best to buy some time. Um, but what you're going to end up happening is between square and circle, that's normally going to be your read progression. And also, I'll show you the second setup as well. That one does work versus match two. So I'm really giving you two setups. So anyways, uh, it's going to be between this crosser route and this crosser route is what you want to read. Now, normally, they do not cover it this good. I promise you that. Um, but if they do, there's actually another setup that we can do where we're actually going to uh, clear out that guy over there. So normally, uh, when I run this setup, I'm looking for this crosser route or I'm looking for this one or I'm looking for the streak. Normally, that's how it goes. And um, those... 
Um, what am I trying to say? Okay, so let's go back to uh, Cover Four Palms. So it's not like it's high y'all. I'm sorry. So X on the streak. We're going to take square, put them on the uh, crosser, circle on the crosser. Triangle on the Texas, R1 on the Texas. Now, I'm actually going to press because most people will press when they run uh, match coverage, true match coverage. And I just want you to kind of watch. And like I said, it's just hard because I'm not getting enough time. But square is pretty much always going to get open. And you're going to have circle get open as a cross route. You just got to trust me. I know it's looking crazy, but um, they, aren't, they just aren't giving me time. And I don't feel like spying everybody. Uh, but anyways, you also can, um, if you wanted to wait, and then obviously you have this right here, or like I said, you have this route. So they don't always do a great job of covering across. So that's why I wanted to run it for you again, because sometimes it just matters on if they press, if they, you know, all that stuff matters, you know. So normally you're going to have both double crossers uh, pretty much open right there. So that's so why I really love it. Now, last thing I want to show you, um, I want to go back to cover four quarters real quick, and I want to show you the other setup I gave you. So the other setup was actually circle on a slant. Square on the post, um, and then we took X, put him on a streak, and then we took triangle and actually put him on a uh, angle, not angle route, Jesus Christ, uh, Texas route. So I just want to show you what this looks like versus match coverage. You could definitely still run this. So notice circle is going to get wide open. Um, that's normally who you're going to read, and you're just paying attention to where the user goes. So in this one, you're literally reading between the user and you're reading between the uh, slant route. So normally the user is going to be on the three rack right here. And when they snap the ball, notice how the three rec is actually going to have to take this uh, angle, Texas route. So essentially, this is your user right here. If I can get to them, this is your user. Now, users will not fly out there like that. Obviously, what they're going to do is sit in the middle and they're going to stay right here and they're going to take this angle route. And what's going to happen is we're going to have this slant wide open for almost the one play touchdown. So that's what I love out of this. So uh, I really, really love this formation. And there's so many things you could do out of this with Howard Master. So just the combinations are endless. If you guys want to add to this, please make sure you put it in the comment section. And I'm sure people who want to run this offense would truly appreciate it. So, you know, or if you want the whole package, just make sure you go on my website, request this formation for ebook. And I will happily give you every setup that I know is great out of this particular formation. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I do hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real, and I'm out.